Hi guys, welcome back to another video of our Spring Boot for Automation Testing. And we have been talking about writing a basic Selenium Java code by writing a page object model code like home page and login page. I mean, these are very dummy and we have not really implemented anything yet, but just we are doing a system.out.println and we also saw how we can actually call these pages using the normal plain old Java object uh, classes way by using creating an object like that. And now we are going to make the code a bit more complex as well. And I will show you how we can actually resolve that using Spring Boot and how we cannot get around with those kind of problem with a classical way of writing the code. For example, if I'm going to write another uh, hypothetical uh, page like main page, which doesn't even exist, basically home page, the main page of this particular code, but I'm just writing it like a very, very hypothetical code. And I'm just going to uh, create a constructor, something like this. And uh, this constructor is going to be initializing the login page and the home page. So I'm just going to create a login page and I'm going to create a home page, something like this. And these initializations are going to be happening over here. I think now if I just do a constructor, something like this, and I'm going to initialize these two object over here. And as you can see, this is the constructor which I was talking about. And in this particular main page uh, class, I'm actually going to be uh, writing a whole test that we have written on this particular uh, test over here. So what this main page is going to basically do is, let's say it's going to have a public void uh, perform login, something like that. And it's going to perform the login operation regardless. And for that, we require the home page as well as the login page. So I'm just going to do home page dot click login. And once it clicks the login, and then it's going to enter the username and password. So we are going to do a login page dot uh, login of admin and the password is admin password, uh, something like that or maybe one, two, three. Uh, and then it's going to do login of click login. We're just going to perform the login operation, something like that. So this is like a hypothetical page, guys. Once again, as I told you, there's just a reason why I'm creating this one. You'll understand why, I, why I'm actually doing this one over here. And now in order to call this perform login, all we're going to do is we're going to go over here and let's just comment this code out. And I'm going to do a uh, main page of main page is equal to new of main page. And we require the login page as well as the home page object over here. Without that, it's not going to work as you know that. So again, um, I need to do something like a login page. Login page is equal to new of the login page. Let's change this to home page. And I'm going to pass the home page, comma, login page. Oh, sorry. I think it's login page, comma, home page. There we go. And then if I go to the main page, dot perform login, I can run this particular code and we'll see what's going to basically happen. And you can see that the code works as expected as well. So this is just a normal Java code that we are doing. So it's working fine as well. So instead of doing this way, we are doing a hypothetical uh, main page, which does the operation. I mean, there are some cases, even automation that we used to write, like a, a caller page, which does all the uh, component calling for you. So that's, that's what this is doing as well for you on the perform login method. And now let's say within this main page, Actually, I have made everything very, very clear that I have resolved all the dependencies. I have perfectly initialized the home page and login page and everything is working fine. But this is on the perfect world where things are happening. But let's say if I'm just going to uh, just remove this home page, something like this, I'm not initializing the home page over here. And then if I try to run this particular code, you will see that you will get a null pointer exception over here. The reason being this particular object is not actually being resolved because 
this particular object the home page dependency is not being resolved and it has to be resolved if not this particular login uh, method will actually throw you a null pointer exception which is what is happening at the moment over here so these are the problems that happens even in selenium web driver for example if you don't really have the uh, web driver being initialized in any one of your page then you will get errors on these particular elements like page dot init element is not being uh, initialized and then this text username text password and btn login will get a null reference exception or null pointer exception and your send keys method will not work so these are the things which happens and this is exactly what is happening even in this particular main because the home page uh, initialization has not really happened on the main page constructor over here and that's why it's actually throwing you a null reference exception so how to resolve these kinds of problem that's why spring boot comes into action and for that we are going to be discussing about the dependency injections of spring boot starting our next lecture